So civil asset forfeiture is one of those things that is very illustrative of just how morally bankrupt politicians, lawmakers, law enforcement, and the government as a whole is. It's simply when no arrest is made of a private citizen, let alone no charges are filed, no judge, no jury, no conviction, no nothing, yet this private citizen has their property, their assets, or their money outright stolen from them by law enforcement. If there was ever an issue that was so clearly immoral and unethical, then civil asset forfeiture would be it. It is so clear that the only thing that should be done about civil asset forfeiture is the immediate ending of its practice, yet it is yet it still persists. I believe Nebraska has outlawed its use finally, and a few other states are rolling around that idea, but this should have been an easy decision to make years ago. I'm glad states are considering this, but as far as gaining any trust back from reasonable people, I have a too little too late attitude about it. It's nothing short of pathetic it took them this long. It is outright theft from an innocent person. And by the way, you can't even give the terrible argument that people use for taxation in regard to civil asset forfeiture. You know, when it comes to taxation, people will say, well, it affects everyone, so we're stealing equally from all, so we should be accepting of taxation. It's a terrible argument, but still, that doesn't even apply to civil asset forfeiture. With civil asset forfeiture, if you're an innocent person and you just so happen to be in possession of something law enforcement finds to be suspicious, they don't need any more evidence, they don't need to arrest you, they don't need to investigate, they don't need to try you in a court of law. They can simply take it because they think you might be up to something and too bad for you they're here to protect and to serve you into poverty and you're gonna have to deal with it now it's always interesting to note the difference between government agencies and law enforcement and the way they're allowed to behave as opposed to the behavior that is expected of private citizens. If any private citizen ever did anything even remotely similar to this, they would immediately and correctly be branded as a detriment to society and their neighbors. Something needs to be done about them. Society cannot go on if they if what they're doing is seen as acceptable and normal in any way. Those are the rules for private citizens, which I accept because that would be a direct violation of someone else's property rights. However, when government does it, they put it on Twitter to show everyone what they've done as if they're proud of it. And they have the badge and shield of government to protect them from any consequences that they should face, which is prison, by the way. These police officers are criminals, pure and simple. It's just that they're legal criminals. Their crimes against property rights and individual autonomy are protected by the government that they work for, which is completely antithetical to that whole idea of individual rights and freedom and liberty and all that stuff, you know, that whole America thing about limiting government. So, especially if you're a typical conservative Republican, you should be outraged by this. And if you're not, you are a hypocrite. No two ways about it. And also, this has been mentioned before, but just to show how terrible all this is, it was back in 2014 when the amount of money seized through civil asset forfeiture surpassed the amount of money stolen in acts of burglary. So the very same people that society says are here to protect us from theft are the very same people outright stealing from the citizenry. And not only that, they will steal from you with their self-righteousness intact. They will actively be proud of what they've done, and they think they're doing a service to society. This is evil nonsense. It's much worse to be under the thumb of someone doing evil and they think they're doing good than someone doing evil for evil's sake. And it also just shows how pathetic the government is in correcting their own behavior, especially when it is so blatant and flagrant in how depraved they are and how ridiculous they behave. Um, but that is it for now. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff, and take it easy.